What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? It is time for One Piece Pen Ultimate episode. Aaron, how are you? I am incredible. My body is ready. I am so ready to. So is my head. Oh, that's a buggy reference. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. Please go ahead and leave a like on that video. Thank you so much to all who have been subscribing, clicking the notification bell, because we got one more episode to get to. And today I wanted to give a shout out to the Real Rejects new merch shop, rejectnationshop.com. Com. Why isn't Greg wearing one of those shirts? Because like the professional planner he is, he forgot to run the dryer. So he's wearing this sweater right now instead. But look at these designs that we have. People are always asking what are some of the best ways to support the channel. One of the best ways to support the channel is to get any one of these random shirts. And there's going to be more coming throughout the year. And I got my sister on board to become the head designer. It's going to be like a family operation, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much. You've already bought yourself some teas. You better get one soon, buddy. And lastly, full internet watch on receipt with their own copy of One Piece of Four Super Sex Rejects over to Patreon page. Let's get to it. I know Luffy made a deal with you to find Arlon Clown. But if this is another one of your tricks. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, what? Because I said bleed on me? <laughs> How do we know you're not leading us to a trap? Uh, Honor Month's pirates, right? Come on, I can sing a nice sea shanty to pass the time. Oh, there once was a girl with tangerine hair. Storm <laughs> the neck is moving. I bet that's an Easter egg. I just want to know if now he's okay. A beautiful, talented woman does not choose to ally herself with a pirate like Arlong. Nami clearly needs to be rescued. That's right. You saved that woman, men. Ah, I like it. I like the new one. Those oranges? They are. Oh my god. Oran oranges. Orange orange oranges. Origins. I'm sure it does not shut up. Everyone <laughs> shut up. Let's watch the show. You're ruining it for everyone. <laughs> I saw the vision. Yeah, yeah, you saw what I was going for. <laughs> Bunch of hippies blowing bubbles in your orchard. It's not an orchard if it's oranges, right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> your orange farm. Nami, it's your turn. Nami. Nami. Is that Nami's mommy? Nami. Your Damn. pet. Oh, she had such a beautiful life before all this darkness. All in. Blow the fish hop. All in. Strike. Ten eye. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Queen's full. Oh, so it's just regular poker? Okay. I still don't know what it means. <laughs> Can you achieve? We don't lie about money on this crew. I'll be back for the rest of your berry later. Oh, so she did cheat. Is that, oh, what, the, yeah. is that what the implication was? It's what she does. <laughs> She's a thief. Sync that up. Nice. Yeah, it's interesting because she's so serious and stern, but this is the dream that Luffy keeps talking to her about. Yeah. Where did you get the book, Nami? I took it from the bookstore. Hun, it's not like I hurt anybody. You hurt the people you stole from. I hate eating tangerines every day. I hate being poor. You have bubbles and oranges. No, Jiko's not my sister, and you're not even my mom! Damn. Oh, poor Nami. Or she had it coming. <laughs> I know it's 2023, but this was 20 years ago. We'd just be like, hit that kid. <laughs> <laughs> I kept a plate on the stove for you. I'm not hungry. Classic parent move. Beat your ass and come with kindness. I got dinner ready to stop all that crying. The day I found you and Nojiko... My unit had been dispatched to engage a band of pirates in the Oikok Kingdom. Oh, shit. Raised yeah. by a fighter. Nice. When I saw you, I knew I had to live. I had to live so I could take care of you. She found purpose. Hey, there's some great parents in this show. I love the heart this show has. I have another job for you in the meantime. One of the villages is late with their tribute payment. Which one? Coco Village. Kukukan. 
Can't you send Karobi or Chu? No. This job requires a human touch. Oh, Arlong knows exactly what he's doing. I always wondered what happened to the infamous Red Leg Zeph, captain of the Cook Pirates. Yeah, well, those days are far behind me. And the only thing under my command is this restaurant. Are they going to kill him off right now? I hope not. A young pirate who was here recently, name of Luffy. I'm lucky if I remember my regulars. Oh, you'll remember this one. Straw Hat. Stretchy. Did Juju Straw Hat Goofy base his name off of Luffy? No. <laughs> he couldn't have. They do a really great job at knowing how to gray out a lot of their environment, but keep our central characters still colored and saturated in their outfits. Oh, yeah. I, I, it's impressive how they do that with their designs. Arlong did this. Please. Please. Mm. Is that the same girl? I think so, yeah. Black girl, blue hair. Yeah. Well, not a lot of those in this world. Nah. They're all the same, Aaron. Don't be racist. <laughs> Say she looks like her. <laughs> Nami, Nami, Nami at the Orange Orchard, if that's what it's called. They found Nami so fast. Yeah, that was really quick. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Sister Beef. Also, I haven't said it at all, but Nami is cute as hell, dude. She's like, that girl's fine as fuck. And you promise to never steal again. Is that, is that Will Forte? Forte? Yeah. Is, <laughs> a, is that? I think it is. Yeah. What the hell? What the cameo? Like the only name actor in this thing so far. What's going on? Everyone, there's pirates! Oh, this is why she hates pirates. Uh oh. Oh my God. Was she, abduct she was abducted by them? Oh. Or she chose to go with them. Ooh. I'm going to make a guess. She is playing the long game. She actually wants to kill Arlong and his people. because oh, it's like R, R, R. So he's strong. <laughs> no, no. Already? Damn, he just got here. Oh, no, no, no. He's right oh, here. Oh, he's right here. Okay. If you need her. No, I don't need any of you. I was never part of your stupid crew. Stop trying to push them away. They love you. Take the rest of these clowns and sail away from here. I never want to see you again. You don't mean that. Come on. <laughs> Cry a little bit. A little bit. Give me a tear. Back to the boat before the fishmen find us. Sail the hell out of here. Nah, Luffy's persistent. I think she was very clear she wants us to leave. You don't know women. They never say what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> the villagers are terrified of her. Not all of them. I'm a pirate. Hunter. We're here to collect Darlong's bounty. Smart man. Yeah. Whoa! Turn around and leave. Now. That's what I've been saying. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's start with Nami. Seems you know her very well. She's a thief with no conscience. And when there's no more left to take, she leaves and doesn't turn back. You really think it's a long game? I feel like she it just went down be. the wrong path. She doesn't like him. And she like, he screwed over her town, so she could be playing the long game. You're not special, and I can't help you. How about a meal? What? <laughs> Sanji with the charm? Huh. Oh, no, no, no. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling Daddy Pirate's going to die. Already? You think so? They have to reunite in episode 487. I took my choice. There's a new generation and they're coming up. Bunts of impulsive children are ready to be enjoyed. You leave it too long, it will go bad. <laughs> a lot of deeper context to this conversation. But you could just serve whiskey. <laughs> okay, maybe he's a... I don't know. You thought because he brought out the I'm, wine, he's going to yeah, die? I thought it was like excited for a special occasion, like it's time to meet his... I feel like he's going... I don't know. His last drink. I'm getting death vibes. <laughs> yeah. Love the prosthetics on the fish, man. 
Yeah, it feels great very job. HP Lovecraft. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Captain Azumi. It's like a subdivision of the Marines. This motherfucker has whiskers. Yeah. <laughs> I have additional concerns. How many? About twice as many as that. That's double our usual arrangement. That is what twice as many means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is the best thing I've eaten in my entire life. Better than a tangerine? <laughs> you really need to know about Nami. The truth is... What's going on? Get, get in, get in. Is it like a Thanos and Gamora situation? Is, it, is that what you're getting at? I can see that. Yeah. That would make some sense. <laughs> Well, you think she's Nebula? Who's the blue hair? Yeah, in a way. <laughs> Jimmy, there's a hundred thousand very <laughs> bad adult. Got the bucket hat and the chain. That's hilarious. Take it. That's all I got. Good. Three plates on the table. Ah, oh, damn it. I have two daughters. You'll have to pay for them. 50,000 berry each. He gave you everything I had. Too bad for you. It ain't enough. Oh, that is fucked him. Mom! Oh, it's a family reunion. <laughs> the money. Will you take it as tribute for my daughters? No, Mom, you can't. You didn't have to tell them about it. Because you are my daughters. And I would never deny that. Wow. Oh, she probably hates her because she... She said something. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Mm. I love you, girls. <sighs> I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wait, Nami's working for the pirate that killed your mother? Long gone. Gorgeous shot. I was just thinking the same thing. Best dynamic in the show, these two. She made her choice. I'm tired of hearing about Nami from other people. She told you to leave, Luffy. So did you. Mm. How do you know she's not one of our Long's crew? Same way I knew you weren't going to kill me when I cut you down from that cross. Same way I knew about Usopp. Luffy can see people for their potential and who they can really be. I know Nami's good. She needs to know it, too. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's exactly a long con. I think she feels like it's clearly a lot of guilt over guilt. it. And like, oh yeah, my mom's dead because of me. This is like her punishment she's serving. Her penance. I hope it's a long con. She got to get revenge for her mama. It's not easy keeping marine patrols out of the area. And with your increase in activity. I guess it's just the price of doing business. You're not smarter than people give you credit for. You shouldn't have said that, man. Shouldn't have said that. Don't discriminate. Does it surprise you that I have intelligence, <sighs> ambition, mm. enslave my people? Slavery has been abolished. But your prejudice remains. Ooh. Fishmen Ooh. have all the same rights as humans. Silly. <laughs> Do you think they intentionally cast a black guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can accept the terms of our usual deal. Give it all back. Yes. You're smarter than people give you credit for. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him anyway. And what about our deal, Arlong? What about it? I have the money. A hundred million berry. I stole that money fair and square. Now, are you ready to honor our agreement? Wow, that's a lot of berry. U.S. dollar translation, that's like $200. Dollar. <laughs> <laughs> that's why USA is number one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way for the rat to earn some extra berry after all. What are you doing? Buying you a drink? We can't. We're on duty. Oh, come on. God, why didn't you just shave his hair? <laughs> it is so awful. Just commit, man. Just shave it off. Your head looks like a penis. Two more. Aren't you full of surprises? <sighs> Dude, you're going to confess. Maybe the straw hat pirates aren't the villains that the Marines are making them out to be. You know something. 
Gop is Luffy's grandfather. Why would you? Why would you? Why would you say like that? You can't tell anyone. He's gonna tell everyone. You say what you want about Luffy, but he's the real deal. It doesn't matter. Not to a man like Gop. You color outside the lines, you get your arm chopped off. It's a little extreme, if you ask me. Must have been hard growing up with a dad like XM Morgan. I am nothing like that straw hat. Fellow with a straw hat came through here the other day. It's good to have the change of heart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Pete's head. Last thing I want to do is put myself in the middle of a family dispute. Kid special. Reminds me of another pirate we knew back in our glory days. Don't say it. Not saying it's going to make it less true. Hmm? Kid reminds me of Gold Roger. Is that the guy who had the the One Piece? Yeah. Is he related? Ooh. Luffy? But I still live by the code. Sir? Thank you for the meal. You see, he's not going to kill him. Have the navigator set a course immediately for the Konomi Islands. You have to know when it's time to let them go. Change is coming whether you want it or not. It's their turn now. <laughs> Just turn around. <sighs> okay, he's safe. Told you. It wouldn't have been satisfying if he died right here. Maybe Luffy's the son of him. And then he... That's Luffy's, Luffy's, not, his own Luffy's son. not really the grandson of... Our villain. Oh, you think he so? He just like took him. Oh, took him in? After yeah. the maybe? He just took him as a baby or something. That could be an interesting theory. Okay. Could be an interesting theory. It is an interesting theory. Good job. Good not theory. Your desecrated her grave too? Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. There's important stuff in there. It's not what you think. You have no idea what I think. <laughs> Oh. And you're hiding it next to our mother's body. Nami, what kind of monster are you? You don't understand. They make me understand. She blames her for her mother's death or their mother's death. Unless some other thing happens in this flashback, which we're about to find out. I need to speak with you. And who are you? My name is Nami. You, you killed my, my mother. mother. Prepare to die. You want to kill me, little girl? No. I want to join your crew. <laughs> Say what? Why would I ever let a human onto my crew? Because I have something you want. Because she's got a black guy fetish. <laughs> <laughs> you knew this. I killed your mother. You want to come work for me? How can you trust a human like that? Why would you do that? Because you have something I want. I told Arlong I'd work for him on one condition. That he let me buy back Coco Village. Mm. Uh, Long gone. That would take the lifetime. I have the money. And now I can buy the freedom of the village and everyone in it. Why'd you have to have everyone hate you? She couldn't let the secret get out. Why well, didn't I couldn't lose you too. Or anyone else. Oh, that's really sad. Yeah. So you kept that secret all these years. And you let me hate you. I can never be like Nami. I'd want the credit. <laughs> I want people to know how good of a person I am. <laughs> I've heard that pirates are stashing their plunder in this area. You two wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, and I guess who's up? Kick <laughs> some ass. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's mine. A hundred million berry. How did you know it was a hundred million? Arlong put you up to this, didn't he? Watch yourself, or we'll take you into custody as well. No! Somebody do something! Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. You draconian asshole. Damn. I'm so messed up, dude. I'm really invested in everyone's personal motives. Yeah. Yes. Let me go! They can't do this! There's nothing you can do! Arlong will kill the entire village! Let me wait! Get back that money! Ask your friends for help! If they were so close to... She was already at the 100 million mark. She should have clued in the straw hat team. 
She's already used to keeping things so close to the chest. She doesn't trust people anymore. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, I agree with you. The girl can't trust. Now the time has come to restore the natural order of this world. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah. We are the embodiment of fishman superiority. Oh, man. Our righteous rage will burn through Coco Village. We will teach each and every human their rightful place beneath us. You tell them, Fish Nito. Ask your friends for help. Ask your friends for help. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, you got them tattooed on your body, dude. Oh. I don't know if it's gonna help you. Goofy. <laughs> I love this show, man. It's so good. I told you to get the hell out of here. You did. You don't know anything about what's going on here. I don't. What beautiful music. Yeah. Scene. <sighs> oh hell yeah! Oh man, God, I love this. God, I love this show. Of course I will. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Damn, look at this. This is a fucking live action anime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they pull this shit off. That's oh. crazy. Oh, yeah. man. What's that? They're attacking the village. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Ah. Of course. Of course, it's where it ends. Can't wait for all five of them to be on the same screen together. All right. All right. Let's, I only got one more episode to go through, so just talk about this super quick. Aaron, take it away. Oh, man. This episode was incredible. This episode was incredible. From the, the themes of, of family, you know, the themes of pr- protection going on. Um, yeah, man. This episode was great from start to finish. Like, getting to see Nami's backstory finally after not really knowing what her deal was the entire time to realizing how um, full of heart and full of uh, selflessness she was under the guise of being selfish and pushing the people that she loves away, whether it be her sister, whether it be the straw hat crew and yeah, seeing the, the lengths people will go to for family. I thought that was, was really inspiring and, and really, really meant a lot. Uh, Yeah. I just think that, this movie wasn't this episode wasn't uh high in action as we've come to to see over the course of the show mm-hmm. but just seeing that has the heart has the um i don't know just the, the emotionality of it that that scene we just watched was incredible like yeah. nami going into like trying to find her um i don't know well she she lost everything but yeah and then her finally accepting their help and then just seeing how luffy was able to be there for her and believe in her like the fact that luffy is someone who just believes in people to such a degree sees people and sees things in people that they don't see in themselves is incredible and i think this is the first episode of the show we've seen luffy not have this overwhelming like um not not necessarily optimism but like this gung-ho attitude he's very much like kind of somber very serious for most of this episode and i think for a a character who is very much like upbeat for all the time i think it's important to have those notes have those accents for the character to really make them feel more human because i think you could easily 
with an adaptation run the risk of a character feeling like a cartoon but rather this crew and luffy in of himself feels very dynamic Mm -hmm. as a leader as a character and yeah and just watching these different people come together has just been very satisfying of a journey and yeah it really this episode really got me emotional uh towards the end you know seeing what nami's gone through seeing like love through the face of of rejection via fear Mm -hmm. and yeah just i loved it man like it didn't it didn't need the action for me you know it had the character and then also with uh with sanji's like surrogate father and him like in the role that he was playing in here just all of it really came together and and nami's mom you know and like her standing up for uh for her chosen family just all of it really really was impactful and yeah 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 it's a penultimate episode And, uh, yeah, I would be, if this is a week to week show, like airing, I'd be so frustrated that it just ended right now. Cause I'm so excited to see them all finally come together and accept each other as a unit. Yeah. This was, uh, this was great. Yeah, man. What'd you think? Yeah. I think you're, you're right about that. I think thematically they were showing the, um, uh, the duality between like the types of surrogate parents and types of parenting that we have. One side is like very misguided kind of parenting or straight up villainous parenting with Arlong, mm-hmm. the evil captain guy. Um, even you call him penis head, even with penis head? even with his dad, that parenting side. And then of course you got um uh oh my god, sorry. It's been a day. Even <laughs> Nima? Nima? I'm already I'm just like blanking on everyone's name at the moment. Uh, we just watched the whole episode about her. Oh, the uh, Nami's mom? Nami, goddammit, yeah. yeah. I said I could see the <laughs> letters. I was like, what the hell's wrong with my brain right now? <laughs> um, Nami and her her parents and, and then, of course, Sanji as well. And looking at, like, again, the duality between those types of parenting and how that affected them, too, I, I thought was beautifully thematically displayed here in this episode. And I think we've been watching how these children have grown up into adults and how that's affected them. You're even sort of watching over the course of Luffy from where he was to how he is in this episode. You're watching him go from being a boy into a man. Mm -hmm. And then it still manages to give you that rewarding cathartic line that you could only pull off like lines, like what, when he's, when he like puts his hands up in the air, like I could just imagine it in Japanese with the subtitles where he's, he's, he's exclaiming, of course I will. And 99% of the time, that would not work, yeah. you know? And you, I would see something like a moment like that in an anime, I'd be like, well, that wouldn't translate well to, the li- to like live action. That wouldn't translate well. And then somehow this show manages to pull off some shit like that, where you're yeah. like, that's great. That's cool. <laughs> you know, like they, I think it's because they earn those moments. They really do. Even yeah. even amidst such a serious moment, because they did such a great job of showing Luffy through the goofy sides to give him a serious moment, to then watch that be um, this embellishment of all these other qualities. All It's like this, this beautiful burrito of like seriousness and, and childlike wonder all in one. And it's just one, of course, I will moment that I thought was great. And the actress who plays Nami, I thought, is uh, her, her performance has been very consistent. It's quite excellent here. Yeah. And I love that this show has let us know everyone's motivation, has let us know. Because everyone's usually set up with some type of mystery. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes a show will stretch that shit out until, like, season two or three. If we were talking about even live action, I'm sure an anime it, like, goes on for a much longer time, right? Mm-hmm. But in live action, they'll stretch that out for feels like fucking forever and then here i love that we actually got it <laughs> mm-hmm. and we now know everyone's backstory and we see that this suicide squad of sorts uh, of <laughs> some how, kind of suicide squad yeah of how they are a fan of how they can they can be a family yeah because the they don't have they don't have family anymore Mm-mm. and you know it's like nami has family and stuff but you could see how them setting out on these. And I like how they all have like different conquests that they're after, these different adventures they're after. And uh, while I, while I do like 
I, I, I enjoy Arlong. Uh, I enjoy the design of the fish people and stuff. And I, I enjoy the commentary that they make. And I like how nuanced it is. I really like how nuanced it is. Yeah. Where he's not just a guy who terrorizes. And that there is, at the end of the day, a, a lot of, well, racism dealt his way. Mm-hmm. Or what would you call it? Fishism? Humanism? Fishism, yeah. Some type of... Some discrimination, Xeno, xenophobia <laughs> type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there at the end of the day, there's um, a lot of systematic injustices that have been dealt his way that have formed him, has formed him to be the the rage, the wrathful man that he is. And at the end of the day, he still is like still a villain. Yeah, he's yeah, still he's still yeah, a bad guy. I, I I like uh, I like the layers a lot to him. And I can't quite pinpoint it yet. And I wonder if it's because the show has introduced us to other villains who I've just thought have been more engaging and ultimately scared. Like when there's someone like Mihawk out there, yeah, I'm not as scared of an Arlong. Because I'm Fair. like, I feel like a Mihawk could easily kill this guy. When when they're talking, so you know what it is actually? I think it's it might be because Arlong was in like one episode. And then like for a little bit. And then he came into last episode and was like more predominant. And Mihawk was only one episode too, right? But his presence. No, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm saying. Uh, no, I'm thinking of a different point here. Is that why this this thing about Arlong and I, I guess they're kind of saying like he's like the main. There's a lot of villains. Yeah, you know, right now there there's there's a lot of villains, and I could, and I think that's one of the joys of a of a of a series. Is you can have multiple villains, especially in anime, where you can have multiple villains and stuff. And uh, I think that I don't quite know what it is yet. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll wait on that thought. I'm gonna I'm gonna rest on that thought before we get to the final until we watch the final episode because I'm like, is there too many villains? <laughs> yeah, uh, because so, like Mihawk seems like he's a personal villain for Zoro for Zoro, and he's not really like a villain. Yeah. You know, and then you have the captain who's more for like, yeah, he's hunted the pirates in general, but he's more for Luffy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then actually, no, now I think about it. Yeah, every every villain seems to have one that's like, OK, but yes, our long is threatening to take over all of humanity and to like, you know, rule it all. But he's mainly here to serve for Nami. Yeah. You know, and then Usopp had the butler that's been dealt with. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, so. He didn't yeah. die though, right? No, he didn't. No, die. no, he was he was uh, rowing away. Yeah, yeah. Uh yeah. I I think like with the way they've been, I guess the way this episode treated Arlong, I felt like Arlong should have been in the show longer, or built him up longer. Yeah, well, especially when there's there's such a diabolicalness to the the way it's it's all coming across and such like a, like a huge thing. Like, they're now going to say, like, he's got the map. He's going to set sail and take over. I'm like, oh, I feel like there should have been maybe more of a buildup to it. Yeah. You know? I, uh, but I don't know. Like, I, I really don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I think I said, like, I can't remember which episode it was because we kind of, like, watched these, like, in, in pairs. But it was, I think I said that, like, yeah, that would come, the final finale would come down to um, Arlong and, uh, and Garp being, like, the two coming to head or like two people we'd, we'd be facing in that, that finale episode. And yeah, I don't think, I don't necessarily think Garp is super threatening, but I think that they serve our characters well, as far as yeah. like what they mean for them. And I think that Mihawk was both cool and serves for, um, for Zoro. Now, could he have been in the episodes more? I do agree, you know, maybe like build up to this threat that he's supposed to represent. Uh, I do think that, They've u- they've utilized him well in the time that we we've, we've seen him, and I think he's the only one so far that like I I get where he's coming from, but he has that like that thing that makes him corrupt, you know, like oh like I understand why you feel the way you do, but like you're taking it like too far, like you took it in, like a an, a direction that like kind of get where I can't align with you, you know, like 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 a Killmonger, like a Magneto, you know, and. Well, I feel like the dialogue provides that, but I kind of feel like the performance misses some of that nuance. You think it's because of the prosthetics? 
I was literally, as I was saying that, I was wondering if that might be it. <laughs> because cause it, he do, at the end of the day, he does just play it like Overlord, at least the way it translates. Mm-hmm. He's just he's just a bad, he's just villainy. And, yeah. and when clearly there's like, through the dialogue, I'm like, well, it sounds like this guy's really, there's a lot of hurt and suffering this guy's been dealt with, dealing with too. Mm-hmm. But he, he just kind of plays, it feels like the perf- the performance feels a little bit one note to me okay. when the dialogue and the context feels deeper than that note. Yeah, I think like the, the this times... This place is sinister, you know. Yeah, no, I, I can agree with that. I think the, the times we've seen him like talk about the the plights of being a fish person and like the emotional weight of, of that has not been, um, I don't know if congruent is the right word, but to the same level as his level of villainy or like the, like, yeah. or the level of engagement we've seen him like there, there hasn't been anything that has made him overtly threatening or like, Ooh, like we got it. We got to take this guy down in the, in the same way that we've, um, I mean, I don't know the fact seen. that it just seems like everywhere he goes, he's murdering left or right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we could, we could, we could use more, you know, yeah. and I, I, I can definitely agree with that fact. Um, yeah, I look. I will say that being said, I look forward to having Nami get her revenge on this guy. Yeah, yeah, for definitely. what he's doing to the town, for what he did to the yeah, mother. A thousand you know? percent. Yeah, and I don't think it's a satisfying villain for our crew, but more so specifically for her. And I feel like all of the villains, to an extent, have been like, I mean, satisfying for our individual heroes to take down, except for Usab. But Usab doesn't really. Do and also much. for Luffy, you know, get his rematch. To get his rematch yeah. too. You're right. There, there's a personal element for him there as well. Yeah. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I would like. Uh, I would rather wait till the final episode for actually casting a final judgment about it. Fair. Okay. Um. But yeah, and I like the sister too. She was a good performer. She was good. Um. Alrighty. Well, one more to go. We'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Excited for it. Thank you guys for being here, and we'll see you for the finale. Bye.